Razer Firefly V2 has just been delivered. This is Razer's brand new mouse mat, the refresh for the original Firefly that has been around for many, many years. Razer have finally gone ahead and released a V2 that is only available in the hard edition. There is no cloth surface for the Firefly V2. Now you may be wondering what exactly the differences are between this mouse mat and let's say the original Firefly. This mouse mat has apparently had improved LED lighting and they've managed to achieve apparently three times brighter LEDs on this Firefly V2. Whether or not that's actually the case, and is that like a visual thing that you can see, is the mouse mat actually that much brighter? We're gonna put that to the test in this video by plugging this guy in, messing around with all the RGB lighting effects on Razer Chroma, and testing to see whether or not the mouse mat actually has like brightness improvements. Now, not only is this mouse mat brighter, it also comes with four extra lighting zones on the mouse mat as opposed to the original. Uh, the original had a total of 15 lighting zones that you can customize when it's a synapse. This one has a total of 90, four more. So the lighting effects on this one will look a little bit smoother, they'll be a little bit brighter. And the entire mouse mat itself is actually thinner than all previous Firefly mouse mats as well. The previous Firefly mouse mats had a thickness of four millimeters, whereas this one has a thickness of just three millimeters. I know, not the biggest difference in the world, but this has allowed Razer to, I guess, name it like an ultra thin mouse mat, uh, because it is only three millimeters in thickness down from four. So the mouse mat's thinner, brighter, has four more LEDs than the original. It also has an all new cable catch, which is kind of like a mouse bungee, but not really, because you pretty much just like attach your cable to the mouse mat like hub, uh, which I'll show you in just a moment when we actually get this guy in box and take a look at it. But it basically has like a little cable holder that you can attach a cable to, which I suppose will help with like cable management and avoid your cable getting stuck on things and stuff. And to finish it off in terms of like features, I suppose they've added a non-slip rubber base at the bottom, of course, so your mouse mat isn't sliding around your table, as that would obviously not be ideal. And one more thing just before we unbox this mouse mat, this one is actually £10 cheaper than the original Firefly. Instead of it costing £60 like the original Firefly mouse mat did, this one now begins at an MSRP of just £50 or £50 USD. So pretty nice little discount there in price, improved features, improved mouse mat in general like every possible way and they've made it a little bit cheaper for us as well. So let's get this guy unboxed, take a look at it man. So we've got the old carambit knife. Alrighty so here's the packaging and I believe we have to cut a seal that I feel like has already been cut open by someone else. So uh, thanks for that. Um, let's pop this thing open. Has the packaging changed from the original? Um, this one does appear to actually be like very slimmer, like the entire mouse mat comes in a pretty slim box as opposed to the original, which came in a slightly thicker box. So they've kind of improved upon there. Wow, this is like freaking sealed, man. Um, how do you take this off? Okay, so that just pops off like that. Cool. And here's the mouse mat itself. They weren't kidding. This is actually like pretty damn thin. All right. Oh wow, this is some cool packaging, I suppose, damn. So we have the Razer cable right here. It's nice and braided, very high quality, of course. Uh, damn, they weren't kidding about this, like, um, non-slip rubber base, like. Razer, I feel like, have really improved recently on their, like, rubber bases, because they are on point, man, like. This is very, very high quality, like. Damn, dude, this is quite impressive. So here's the mouse mat. To be honest, it does seem very thin. It looks quite modern. Uh, this, of course, is going to light up as well. The Razer logo. Apparently, Razer coated it with some kind of optimized surface coating, and the entire thing has like a micro textured surface. And it does feel and look very high quality. Like, it just seems like a very, very good mouse mat in general. Uh, as for the cable catch that I was talking about earlier, this is it right here. Just two little hooks, one kind of facing that way and one facing towards you, just to route your mouse cable through here, which is quite good, better than having nothing there. I suppose so if you do want to take advantage of the cable catch you can do uh, but if you have a wireless mouse That's gonna be a useless feature to you. Anyway, there's not really too much else to talk about You know, that's the mouse mat. That's the hub. Uh, we have the cable itself I think without further ado, we should pop this in the setup right here. Wow Ooh, We're actually running into a bit of a space issue I feel like I should probably be placing this mouse mat onto the white desk though, right? I've decided I have to get rid of the Goliath's extended mouse mat So pro tip if you want to improve your cable management a little bit try to route your RGB mouse mat cable underneath your keyboard. So if your cable direction is kind of like that way, try to route it beneath the keyboard so that the cable is hidden away out of sight and then we can plug it into the PC or whatever. Oh my God. Okay, that is actually very bright. 
All right, so we've downloaded all the drivers for the Razer Firefly V2 mouse mat right here over on Razer Synapse 3. As for the controls and customizability of this mouse mat on their software, there's a few things that you can do. So of course, there's a brightness adjustment. You can turn the LEDs off completely if you don't want them. Of course, you can turn them back on. The mouse mat is currently at 100% brightness, however, you can turn it down to let's say like 50, and the mouse mat would still be extremely bright. So they're not lying when they said that this is like three times brighter because this genuinely does look like a big improvement over their previous mouse mats. All the colors are very saturated and very bright, but they're not kidding about that. As for the various lighting effects, there is of course the wave lighting effect that we're currently on. You can of course change the direction of this effect if you want to by pressing these buttons right here. There's also a breathing effect, which can be of course one color breathing in and out, or it can be random colors, up to you. There's an audio meter effect that works with audio, so we can go ahead and play a song on Spotify. All right, so this is the audio boost effect. We're currently playing a song on Spotify, Duck Face by Code. This audio meter effect is basically kind of reliant on the bass in a song. So when the bass hits, the LEDs will kind of turn either orange, yellow, or red, depending on how strong the bass is. So yeah, that's the audio meter effect. It's pretty damn cool, especially once you have like audio peripherals kind of set to audio meter effect. It's pretty cool. Uh, anyway, as for all the other lighting effects, let's pause the music for now. There is of course reactive, which will work with your mouse. So whenever you press with your mouse, the mouse mat will react. There is also some customizability for this. So you can have a custom color, unfortunately not random colors. We can go ahead and choose one static color for this reactive mode. And then you can go ahead and customize the duration of this lighting effect. So it can be short, medium, or long. This will be long effect. So the lighting effect lasts for quite a while. And then there is short, which is quite instant and it fades away. So yeah, that's the lighting effect for reactive. We have spectrum cycle, of course, we can press everything to sync to Spectrum Cycle. So if you have a Razer themed gaming setup already, all of your Razer peripherals that support Razer Synapse 3 can sync up perfectly by just pressing the apply to all other Chroma enabled devices button right here. Of course, there is also a static effect. We can press apply to all devices once again. So you can sync up all your Razer Chroma devices and set them all to one color if you want to. Let's try a red color. Uh, as you can see, all of the lighting effects on this mouse mat are extremely bright. The only part of the mouse mat that I wish was actually brighter is the actual LED uh, logo for the Razer three-headed snake here. I wish that was a bit brighter because in comparison to everything else, that looks a little bit dim, to be honest. And then finally, we're back to the wave lighting effect. Of course, you can sync everything up with the wave lighting effect. Just press sync all devices. But if this amount of lighting effects for you is not enough, you can head over to advanced effects right here and press on the Chroma Studio button. Here you can set up a whole load more lighting effects. You can go ahead and customize every single zone within the Razer Firefly V2 mouse mat using Razer Synapse 3 in their Chroma Studio. So you can go ahead and select let's say this part of the mouse mat to have a fire effect. Uh, as you can see, it's been added here under the effect layer. It's kind of like Photoshop almost, but for your Razer peripherals, it's kind of cool. So we can go ahead and select uh, that part of the mouse mat to have a fire effect. And the other half, let's have a wheel effect on this one. And we can go ahead and set this to an RGB mode as well. So half the mouse mat, this half is currently on like a hot or cold fire effect, which is kind of weird. And then the other half is set to a wheel. All right, let's turn all the LEDs off and then turn them back on with a ripple effect. So let's set everything to have a ripple effect. And I want to show you how the ripple effect would look like on something like this. So I'm going to press with my keyboard the escape button and we should have a ripple effect ripple throughout the keyboard and the entire mouse mat as you saw there. By the way, this mouse mat does also come with some Razer stickers your Razer 3 headed snake logo, your Razer logo in text, uh, powered by Razer Chroma, two stickers of those, and then four gamers by gamers. Finally, you do also get a Razer Fire 5v2 booklet right here, filled with all sorts of extra information about the mouse mat as well as Razer Synapse. But yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to the lighting effects for the Razer Firefly V2 mouse mat. And that's pretty much gonna be it for today's video as well. Thank you all so much for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Link in the description down below, of course, to where you can buy this mouse mat on Amazon and the Razer store. So there'll be two links in the video description. You can press either one or both, see whichever website has the best deal, I suppose. My hair looks freaking crazy at the moment because of the GoPro head mount. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I'm gonna be posting another video very soon of the new Razer mouse unboxing, the Razer Basilisk Ultimate. Video coming soon, so if you like Razer gear and you wanna see me take a look at Razer's brand new mouse that costs a whopping 170 pounds, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel and you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.